Substance use in the Tasmanian community is quite prevalent. When I talk about substance use, I mean uh, illicit drugs such as heroin, ice, but also alcohol, tobacco, caffeine, prescription medications. As a practitioner and a service provider, it can sometimes be difficult to know how to have those conversations with people and also what the best way to have those conversations is to be able to affect change. And that's why the Brief Intervention Scaffold was created. It intends to create a baseline level of knowledge for practitioners and then to elevate their practice so that their brief interventions can be effective, they can be sensitive and produce the best outcomes for everybody. The brief intervention scaffold is in three parts. The first part is the blueprint which contains all the information about what a brief intervention is, how it works, the research behind it. Next you have the toolbox which is just what it sounds like, has everything that you need in order to provide a brief intervention, all the tools that you need. And then finally you have a brief case which is the short one or two page summaries that you can keep on your desk, stick up on a wall that help remind you the most critical parts of a brief intervention. A brief intervention is a short conversation between a worker and a person in the community aimed at eliciting health behaviour change. A worker in this context doesn't necessarily need to be an AOD worker, it can be a GP, a nurse, a volunteer, anyone that has the knowledge and skills to provide a brief intervention. We designed the Brief Intervention Scaffold comprehensive training package and resource because brief interventions are really effective and quite cost effective at the same time. The scaffold is named and designed the way it is as a bit of a cheeky play on words. The whole intention of the resource and the entire project is to give workers a framework or a scaffold on which they can build their own really effective brief interventions. I wanted the resource to have a really homegrown feel to it, so I've chosen colours and a drawing style that really makes it seem like not the clinical practice that brief interventions often get a bad rap for. They really are a very gentle and very bespoke way of talking to a person. So that's how I designed it. They're a really accessible way for workers to affect some real change in the community. So it was a no-brainer for us to increase the capacity of Tasmanian workers. Within the alcohol and other drug context, this is generally starting by giving feedback about a person's substance use, whether they're using more than the recommended guidelines or whether their use provides risk to their health. Um, and then it evolves kind of naturally the way any other conversation might. So you might discuss the options that they have, what they might do about this knowledge now that they have it, and you can provide referral, more information, basically anything that can help move that person along the stages of change. Standalone copies of the resource can be found on our website, um, on our resources page, or by contacting us by email or phone. Otherwise, you get a copy of the scaffold when you sign up for the Brief Intervention Scaffold Training. Thank you.